The crisp Midwestern air of late November means one thing, the game. Most quintessential conflict in American sports. They were saying some stuff, now they're fighting. The history unparalleled. Buckeyes versus Wolverines. The stakes, of course, are always clearly defined. But today, the entire college football landscape will be sculpted. Ohio State, Michigan. The Michigan Wolverines. It's time for the game to send it up to the guys calling it. Gus Johnson and Joel Clay. Enjoy it, everybody. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. Welcome to the shoe, folks. Ohio Stadium, and we are ready for the game as number three Michigan comes into town to take on number two, the world-famous Ohio State Buckeyes. Entire sport in Jackson Smith and Jigba. Second down and 10 of the 19. Here's Stroud looking again. Throws and he finds his receiver on the far side. Written out of bounds. Close to that first down marker. And it was caught by Cade Stover. This will be a big point throughout the game. Third down and one at the 28. And they'll run it with Mayan Williams. He picks up the first down. And here's the handoff over the right side. It's Xavier Johnson. Johnson with running room. Picks up a first down. And more as he gets close to midfield. That's a gain of 19. Chris Jenkins with the tackle. He shows a little movement there as well. Buckeyes stay on the ground. This time it's straight him. And Michael Barrett with the tackle. So nursing that leg injury, Gus, like you stated earlier. Second down and seven. Near side throw caught. Close to another first down for the Buckeyes. Ameka Abuka to be a high producer here today. Opening series for Ohio State. Third down and one. Stroud backing up. Throws to the far side. Marvin Harrison Jr. made the catch with one hand. Wow. That's sensational stuff. First and 10 to the 25 for Ohio State. And they'll run it. Train them. Slicing through the Michigan defense. Gained seven yards, Mozzie Smith, Michael Barrett. Because they are getting this crowd into it early. Second down and three at the 18. And they'll hand it off. Train him, stutter step, gets through the hole. Down at the five. A gain of 12. Straub drops back, sets, and zone. Marches down the field on their opening series. Punches Michigan in the mouth. It's good. Ohio State, 12 plays, covering 81 yards. They score in almost five minutes. Passing game. They're on the first snap of the game. They went to the air. Second down and 10 of the 25. Here's Corum testing out that knee. And Corum. Spins forward, gains four. Lathan Ransom defensively for Ohio State. The Bucks on D. This game ended up being personal for this group a year ago. They were physically dominated. Gus, this is largely the same group of players. Maybe a couple of differences. Tanner McAllister at safety, Michael Hall at defensive tackle. How they answer the bell physically will tell you everything about how successful they'll be here early in this game. Michigan facing field now. He's explosive, but he's playing with a hand injury. McCarthy rolls out, throws on the move underneath, and it's caught for first down for Michigan. Cornelius Johnson with a 12-yard gain. 41, Corum the pistol back. 
And they'll give it to him straight ahead. Blake Corum hopping through the hole. And he'll pick up two yards on the play. Ohio State game tackling Vincent finally brings him down. And Corum did not look right trying to cut off that left leg. That's where the brace is, and he'll hobble off. McCarthy bounces out, looking, directing, throws off his back foot. That's a gain of 32. 24. Play fake. McCarthy in trouble. And McCarthy gets rid of it incomplete. Ohio State bringing backside pressure. Cody Simon. McCarthy out of the shotgun. Here's J.J. McCarthy, sets, fires sideline, incomplete. We have to win every game. Third down and 20 at the 34. J.J. McCarthy steps into his throw underneath, caught A.J. Henning, but he's brought down quickly. Terrific swarming defense by Ohio State. He comes in to attempt one from 49 yards away. That one up, nice draw, and good. Michigan on the board. Jake Moody remains red hot. 6.07 to play in the first. 7 to 3. Buckeyes. Second series for Ohio State. Stroud out wide. He has his man. Abuka cuts it back. Picks up a first and more and a flag. Somebody grabbed his face mask. May have been Junior Paulson. 17 yard gain. 15 yard penalty from the 40 now. They'll run it. Williams to the near side. Tackle. At the 30, Mike Sainer still got him, but it's a gain of nine. Somebody loose in the back end of the defense. Second down, it's short. They need two. Play fake. Stroud looking. And it's Fleming with the catch. Another first down in front of D.J. Turner. To play with a little pace, a little tempo, and on the edge. It helps their run game get going. That obviously helps their play action pass. And it also does another thing. It slows down the pass rush. Watch how clean the pocket is right now for C.J. Stroud. He's just sitting in there and being able to survey the entire field, make his decision, and then throw the ball accurately. So far, Stroud. 7 of 8, 63 yards and a touchdown. First down and 10 of the 25. Another play action fake. Looking for a screen. Stroud now dances outside the pocket. Striding. Decides to run it and goes out of bounds at the 20. Why didn't he try to throw that ball downfield or even downfield away out of bounds? It's because they were setting up a screen. He had linemen downfield, Gus. He couldn't also throw the ball past the line of scrimmage. That's a smart play, and he gained a few yards right there and was able to get out of bounds. What makes C.J. Stroud such a great player? Well, it starts with what I just said. He makes really good decisions. He's a very intelligent player. He's got great feet in the pocket, and he's fundamentally sound when he throws the ball because he anticipates windows. Eighth total offense, and it's Williams. First down, Buckeyes. Stroud, Johnson, looking for running room. This time, Michigan ready. Maybe a yard on the play. Stu's game. Second and nine at the 14. Williams, crunching forward. No gain on the play. Mason Graham. Ohio State up at the line of scrimmage, quickly snapping the ball. Third down and nine. Stroud looking with time. Incomplete. So the Michigan defense will hold Ameka Abuka. This one from 32 yards away. Got it up. And good. 10-3. Ohio State. 119 to play. First quarter in the game from Columbus. Back after this. First down at the 42. Stroud. All day to throw the ball. Stroud now delivers to the sideline. And this will be Stover. And he'll lose three yards on the play. He's too smart. He's too accurate. They'll hand it off to Williams. Stretch play. Williams with a hole. And he's clipped and taken down at the 40 by Mike Sainer still. Number 18 out there. Watch out. Marvin Harrison Jr. 
Here's the handoff, looking for five, and they won't get it. They get three, Mason Graham. He's the deep man. Play fake, Stroud looking, Stroud delivers! Incomplete on fourth down. Jalen Harrell in coverage, Cade Stover just couldn't haul it in, and the Wolverines will get it back. Cade Stover almost had it. Michigan football when we return. McCarthy under pressure and that ball deflected. Major pressure, Zach Harrison. An engaging young man, third down and 11 at the 33. Here's McCarthy stepping up, delivers a deep ball and it is incomplete. Play fake, Stroud steps up, moving around. Incomplete. Would have been a tough catch in traffic for Marvin Harrison Jr. D Hayden. And Hayden gets through the hole, but Jalen Harrell is there. Third and five at the 43. Empty backfield. CJ Stroud backpedaling near side. Incomplete. And Michigan will get off the field again. Michigan bringing pressure. Xavier Johnson, the intended receiver. 30 yards. Back-to-back -back three and outs for Michigan. J.J. McCarthy hands it off. Running room, Donovan Edwards, who's playing with that injured hand. Edwards again, and Edwards grabbed in the backfield. He'll be tackled for a loss. Guess who? J.T. Tuimoloau. McCarthy under pressure. Back shoulder throw. Caught. Cornelius Johnson breaking it. Still on his feet. Cornelius Johnson sprinting. Touchdown, Michigan. 69 yards. <laughs> Ohio State brought the house. Everybody on the blitz. And McCarthy just called. Step back through a little fade away, hits Cornelius Johnson, and then it's the missed tackle. When you send everybody, there is nobody to help. Cam Brown misses the tackle. Up and good. I had a chance to run into Cornelius Johnson's dad and his two brothers in the hotel this morning. They're so proud of their big brother. They thought that he'd have a chance to have a big game today, and what a big touchdown. CJ all the way. 10-10, Michigan, Ohio State. Train him, breaks it up. Train him with room. Train him, finally goes down. After a gain of 24 yards, 3-6. Stroud, sideline throw. Oh, what a throw. He just dropped that in to Marvin Harrison, Jr. This is great anticipation. Harrison. Second catch, train him. And Michael Barrett with the tackle. Stroud guns it underneath and broken up. Incomplete. CJ Stroud with time. Sideline throw, incomplete. That one high for Emeka Abuka. So on third down and 11. Ohio State coming up empty, seven yards away. Got it up. And he nails it. Noah Ruggles. Big time kick of 47 yards. He's two for two. Ohio State on top, 13-10. And they're going to have to do that if they're going to want to win this ball game. First down to the 25. Donovan Edwards, the pistol back. McCarthy to throw it. McCarthy looking, throws deep. Got a wide open receiver. Cornelius Johnson sprinting. Touchdown, Michigan. 75 yards. They said the kid couldn't throw the deep ball. Well, he did it there. And perfect 
route from Cornelius Johnson, and all of a sudden, Michigan lights it up on two long touchdown passes. Beautiful job by McCarthy. Gusser stepping up in the pocket, and Johnson was wide open. Had a two-touchdown game against Indiana last month, and now he gives Michigan a 17-13 lead. Three catches, 156 yards, and two touchdowns here in the first half. Check out this route. Here's, here's Johnson right on your screen. He's going to give a little outside move before he goes to the post at the top of his route. He's working right here. See that outside move? That is great stuff. Cam Martinez, number 13, bites on the outside move, and Cornelius Johnson is wide open. Back in the, in the backfield, the pressure came up on the edges. Ohio State takes over at their own 21-yard line. Stroud to Ibuka. And a first down, Ohio State. It gained about 15 yards. D.J. Turner throws him out of play. Second and three at the 43. And fake the reverse. Strauss setting up, looking. Delivers, and it's caught. Fleming. And Fleming holds on to the football. He's had a case of the drops on the outside. Ohio State quickly into Michigan territory. Stroud winds up, throws a deep ball side. Line! Turn. Donovan Edwards in the backfield. McCarthy to throw on first down. Guns it to the sideline. Ronnie Bell, and he makes the catch. And they'll run it for the first down. Edwards slicing through. Looks like he has it. Let's see. Tyreek Williams with the tackle. Didn't get it. They'll go for it here. It's fourth down. Big crowd at the line of scrimmage, and now a first down. A two-yard gain for Michigan. C.J. Stokes remains in the game. Here's McCarthy with the quarterback run. McCarthy still moving. Look at J.J. McCarthy gets out of bounds at the Ohio State 45. That's 19 yards the hard way. Well, the run game has just not been there for Michigan, so now they're going to have to try the quarterback run. He certainly got the ability, and now the toughness. Look at him. He was, there was no way he's sliding feet first there. Puts his head down, initiates, what is that, eight more yards after the contact, initial contact, before he goes out of bounds. J.J. McCarthy, partner, correct me if I'm wrong, he's a 4-4 guy as Ronnie Bell gets tied up. First down and 10 of the 45. Play action. J.J. McCarthy lobs it wide open. Caught at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Colston Loveland. 45 yards. And Michigan reclaims the lead. State has not adjusted. They're sticking with that man coverage to try to stop the run. Safety is going to be man-to-man -man on Loveland. He's going to come up, and then he's going to wheel onto the outside. Watch as he breaks this route, and they get caught up, he and Johnson, but then he's able to get some space as Ransom overplays it, and then he's wide open. Beautiful throw, and then he dives for that front pylon, and it's a touchdown for Michigan on another big play. Thus, that man defense is not working for the Buckeyes. Extra point. Is good. Michigan's three touchdowns, 75 yards, 69 yards. Now 45 yards. Colston Loveland gets into the end zone. The first touchdown of his career, and the Wolverines have the lead once again. These teams first down, best starting field position for Ohio State today. C.J. Stroud backing up over the middle, and it's caught out of the backfield. Train him, train him, still running. Hits the sideline, and goes out of bounds at the 25. Chip train him, the Arizona State transfer. There's flags in the backfield. I think they're going to get Donovan Jackson on a hold. 
There are two fouls on the play. Both will be enforced. Holding offense number 74. 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. After the play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 88. No 88. Got to think that that's 18 that they're calling that on. Marvin Harrison. Possibly it's G. Scott. Watch G. Scott here. This is the hold. Donovan Jackson. That's the hold on Jenkins. And then at the end of the play, I thought Harrison. Okay, here's G. Scott. 88. Oh, yeah. Headbutt out of bounds. And that's clearly, and Ryan Day knows it. He sees the penalty come out, and he says, get him out of here. At the 27 for the Bucks. here's the pitch. Train him. The train him will gain a couple of yards. Mazen Smith hauls him down. And 19 yards. Here's Stroud looking. Stroud. And this ball caught by train him at the 40 foot, at the 44-yard line. Same was still with the tackle. Gain of 13, fourth down, and Ohio State looks like they're going to punt it away. And Straub doesn't like it. He was trying to tell him stay on the sideline. He felt like they got there. J.J. McCarthy to throw it. Rolls out of the pocket. McCarthy looking. Throws on the move underneath, and it's caught by Donovan Edwards. We pick up seven yards. Whiteland was wide open right down the right side. Now. Second down. Here's McCarthy again looking for the first down, and he has it as he gets pushed out of bounds by Steel Chambers. The 32. McCarthy. Winding up, now runs it again with that speed. He'll slide down short of the line to gain. Edwards, first down and more. Donovan Edwards plowing forward. He gains 12. The Ohio State 47. Edwards breaks a tackle, slashes forward, keeps his feet and goes down about a yard short of the first, a nine-yard gain, Ty Hamilton. And he'll give it to him. And he'll throw it! Oh, caught! Inside the 25! Luke Schoonmaker! A gain of 15! Are you kidding me with that play call? How about the courage from Michigan and Jim Harbaugh? They move a linebacker to running back this week and then let him throw a pass? Holy cow, Schoonmaker. Wide open. And then he jumps up. It's like a Tim Tebow jump pass for a first down. Watch Mullings. Jumps up. Delivers it. Wow. First down, Wolverines. From the 23, Donovan Edwards back in the game. Here's Edwards with a hole. And Donovan Edwards gains six yards. He turned from a track meet, which it was in the first, to the grinded out slow style of game that Michigan wants to play here on this series. Ninth play of the drive that started at the Michigan 20. And the handoff straight ahead to Edwards. He runs into a pile. McCarthy hands it off. First down, Donovan Edwards. Running over that left side. These offensive linemen for Michigan now. Play fake. McCarthy in trouble. McCarthy on the move. McCarthy throws it. And incomplete. Great pressure by the Buckeyes. Team play of the drive. Edwards. Right next to McCarthy. Here's McCarthy. Dancing. Fires in the corner. And incomplete. And a flag. Ronnie Bell at target. This is going to be pass interference against Ronnie Hickman. Donovan Edwards, the deep back. Edwards looking, and he'll go nowhere. Great defense by Ohio State. Hickman makes up for it. McCarthy rolling. 
McCarthy looking, fires incomplete. Can Michigan pay it off? J.J. McCarthy, he'll run it with a lead. Touchdown, Wolverines. J.J. McCarthy, what a day. Three touchdown passes. Now he runs one in. And the Wolverines take a 30-20 lead. He actually ran right past his offensive lineman. When you're a ball carrier near the end zone, sometimes you just got to be your own blocker. Watch as he passes Keegan 77. He's just like, get me in there. Lowers his shoulder. That one was against Hickman, it looks like. And he's able to get the goal line. And it's good. 15-play drive for Michigan. Covering 80 yards, J.J. McCarthy punches it in. The Wolverines eat up seven minutes and 51 seconds. And they're leading on the road against the Buckeyes. We really haven't seen it all year until today. On first down, C.J. Stroud looks backside with time, dumps it off, and whoop, voracious tackle. Michael Barrett brings down Mayan Williams. This Michigan defense has been able to play soft coverage with safeties back. They've been able to control, not stop, but control the run game, and then... Stroud. C.J. Stroud bounces out of the pocket, throws on the move, and it is Fleming with the catch on the sideline. Great catch. Ryan Day. Here's C.J. Stroud, and it's knocked away incomplete. McGregor once again, and McGregor has knocked down two, maybe three passes. Break no call from the official. Third down and seven. I bet you this is four down territory for Ohio State. Here's Stroud. Underneath, cut, Abuka. And Abuka down at the Michigan 15. Mike Sandra still with the tackle. That's a 43-yard gain for Ohio State. Plays at the bottom of your screen. Here's Stroud with a handoff, and it's Trainum bulldozing. Trainum down the center this time. Stroud looking. Stroud in the end zone. Incomplete. Stover was the intended receiver, but Mike Sandristo, the converted wide receiver, breaks down. And that brings up fourth and four. They were trying to sneak the tight end from the right side all the way back to the left. And he had a lot of space, but Mike Sanger still with the makeup speed and then at the catch point. Look at him play the ball perfectly. Goes after it with his hand and just knocks it away. Seven yards. This one from 27, and it's good. So Ohio State takes the three points. 31 to 23. 723 remaining in the fourth. Folks, this is the game. Number two versus number three. And it looks like it's going down to the wire. The first couple of plays in the first. Won it last year. They're on the road. They're the underdog. You get the feeling that some, something's coming, a specialty play of some sort, which means Jim Knowles has to have the best series as a defensive coordinator he's maybe had in his life. First year here at Ohio State. This is why he's here. They have to get a stop. No turnovers in this game so far. First and 10 of the 25. Here's Edwards with a lay. Donovan Edwards down the sideline. Gets past Ransom. Donovan Edwards. Touchdown, Michigan. The Don. Michigan has torched Ohio State in man coverage all day long. Watch this. Ronnie Bell or Corn Cornelius Johnson there can just run off his defender, which means there's no one left. And all they got to do is seal the linebacker. Ola with Timmy, the best center in college football, gets it done on Tommy Eichenberg. He gets to the second level, and then it's just Edwards, and he's in a foot race. 
Extra point, good. That's the fourth touchdown of 45 yards or more today by Michigan. But it's a big one. 7-11 to play in the fourth. 38-23 Wolverines. Second and four. Johnson, jitterbugging. Johnson picks up the first down. Stroud delivers. Ibuka with the catch. And they've, they've got to take a shot here towards the end zone. From the 28, C.J. Stroud looking. And Stroud again to the sideline. Another first down. This time it's Marvin Harrison Jr. Rallying up to try to make the tackle more importantly inbounds. Stroud. Guns it. And incomplete. No flag on the play. Ibuka the target. Zane was still defensively. The 16-yard line. 4.27 remaining. C.J. Stroud. Goes through his progression. Stroud just throws it forward. situation he's trying to make a play and watch as he tries to flip it to Xavier Johnson but it's just behind him a little bit Xavier Johnson bats it up in the air and that's what allows Upshaw to 16 yard line 427 remaining CJ Stroud goes through his progression Stroud just throws it forward and it's intercepted situation he's trying to make a play and watch as he tries to flip it to Xavier Johnson but it's just behind him a little bit Xavier Johnson bats it up in the air and that's what allows Upshaw this crowd 418 to go they'll run it again with Edwards Brian Day has got to be feeling like he's he's witnessing the same game all over again because this feels so similar to a year ago in Ann Arbor us when the run game just started to churn it out and the defense was able to just make enough plays in particular in the red zone and that's happened here again in the second half they'll run it again with Edwards and it appears that the team with the most rushing yards is going to win this game Marines doing it without their star Blake Corn. here's the run again down of it Edwards whoa can they catch him no again 85 yards the Don two huge touchdowns and the Wolverines go up 44 23 second half wow I tell you what complete domination for the Wolverines over their arch rivals the Ohio State Buckeyes here in the second half extra point good 45 23 another look at 
Donovan Edwards. Thus, when you've got nobody deep, you have got to be gap sound. And when you're not gap sound, this is what happens. Olua Timmy hooks the tackle. And at that point, boom, it's gone. And when you play Michigan, now you play the whole Harbaugh family. You get that Baltimore defense, you get Jim's offense. And look at that, they're coming up with a sack late. This time, it's Oki. Yabi Oki, the Alabama transfer. And they certainly, you know, they've got a couple of really good wins and good non-conference. Over the middle. Incomplete and an interception. Makari Page. And Page comes up with the loose ball second turnover of the day for ohio state and that will do it with 148 to go in the fourth quarter michigan coming into columbus they haven't won here since 2000 time since they won the national championship back in the late 90s. Well coached. Dominant. And that will do it. The final score from Columbus. 45 to 23. Michigan improves to 12 and 0. And the Wolverines head to the Big Ten Championship next week in Indianapolis as they defeat the Buckeyes for the first time in Columbus since 2000. Let's go downstairs. Jim. Talk to this guy, right? Jim, 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 Jim. <laughs> Jim, come on. He runs you can't along. Get him. You, can't, you can't get him. <laughs> Been doing it for too long. There was so much expectation that you were going to have to make plays in this game for Michigan to win. How does the reality compare to the dream of winning this game? I mean, obviously, there's some things that I want back. Yeah, there's some things that I want back, but walking out of here with the W, that's all that matters, no matter how we got it done. What did you see on the back end of their defense that allowed you those huge chunk plays that were so successful that really framed this game, JJ? I mean, they were trying to stop our identity. We're, we're a smash fest football team, and they were trying to stop the run, so they let, let the passes get open deep. I know you're a guy that likes to center himself with meditation. You like to quiet yourself. When you sat by the goalpost, what did you envision today? Exactly this, honestly. It, it was just trying to get back to myself back when I was five years old, dreaming about playing on this field. And everything about it was magical. Well, well played today. Congratulations on the win, JJ. Thank you so much. I just want one more thing to say. Job's not finished. Let's go. Go blue. Sound like Kobe Bryant, baby. Donovan, so much focus on Blake Corum, your teammate, your brother in this one who wasn't able to go. When you saw that, what was your first thought about what you'd have to do? Uh, first and foremost, uh, all praises are to the Lord. Uh, he blessed us to be able to uh, come play in this game. Uh, all of us who played in the game, we came out healthy, and we got the victory. So all praises to the Lord. What does this win mean for this program? Uh, it's big, you know, a uh, big-time rivalry game, a uh, big-time rivalry game. Uh, you know, like, we, we knew, like, uh, what we had to do this game. But, you know, like, we prepared for this this game all season uh, in the off season. So, to get the victory, it's a, it's a blessing from the Lord. Great win, Donovan. Go celebrate with your teammate. Thank you. Have a great one. All right. Thank you very much. The final score here at Ohio Stadium, 45-23. to 23. 
Michigan remains undefeated 12 and 0. Oh, head to Indy to play in the Big Ten Championship next week. We will have more from Columbus with Mike Hill and the guys after this break. For Tom Rinaldi and Joel Klatt, I'm Gus Johnson. Oh my God.